In the navigator seat on the rescue boat, we'll be operating two separate screens. One will be used for the chart system, and the second screen on the right will be used strictly for navigation. Once the radar app appears, you'll see a visualization of the echoes and targets received from the scanner that turns around on the top of the boat. This is simply an aid to navigation to show us where a safe road is to travel, whether it's in dark or limited visibility situations. Another feature in the radar application is to be able to turn off the scanner without shutting the entire system down. From a safety standpoint, as we approach boats and docks, we'll want to turn off the radar scanner. Simply press and hold the menu button and select the transmit on off this will allow us to put our radar on standby as we conduct our business. When you're ready to get underway and it's safe to do so, simply press the transmit button and the radar, will, the radar will continue to operate. Some other information you'll need to check when you start up the radar are the gains. Press and hold the icon in the bottom left corner. This allows you to check your color gain, your sea clutter, your rain, and your main gain function. Your main gain will allow you to, as soon as you try selecting it and adjusting it, it'll come off automatic and go into a, a manual mode. If you wanna select auto, simply choose auto and press anywhere on the screen and then press the back button to get you back into the radar screen. The next setting we wanna set up is what mode we operating in while we travel on the lake. For the Shushwap Lake, we'll select the menu item and we'll select the coastal option on the bottom right part of the screen. As part of the standard operating procedure for the radar screen, we'll be using the electronic bearing line and the variable range marker very frequently. So in order to do so, we will simply select anywhere on the screen and choose more options until you see the VRM and EBL1 option. So we will turn it on and that will now give us the option to use the electronic bearing line as we always use it to find a safe route of passage. And by, and by pressing the center button on the rotary dial, we can actually toggle between the electronic bearing line and the variable range marker. So we'll leave it like that and we'll use the plus and minus buttons, icons on the bottom of the screen to range in and range out. And we're just gonna leave it like that. If the back button is pressed, you'll notice that the EBL and the variable range marker are locked into place. And the rotary dial now becomes your range function, the same as your plus and minus buttons. In order to get back to the variable range marker and EBL adjustments, simply press anywhere on the screen, hit more options, turn on and off the variable range marker again, and now that will bring the EBL and the VRM back into focus. Press the center button to toggle between the VRM, press it again, and now you can use the EBL as needed and we'll keep the EBL and the VRM in adjustment mode while we navigate on the rescue boat. While navigating with the radar screen, you'll observe on the left side of the screen we'll have a data bar. That allows us to see the course over ground, speed over ground, and if we are navigating to a certain waypoint, we'll also have the bearing and distance to waypoints. In order to, if it accidentally disappears, like you can slide it off the screen as as indicated before, pressing this button over below the rotary dial with the one dot on it, that will actually bring it back into uh, bring it back into the screen. Pressing it again will hide it. But in our case, while navigating, we'll always have that that information on the screen while we navigate. Another feature on the Raymarine screens is whether or not we want to show waypoints on the radar screen. In order to show waypoints on the radar screen, simply select the filter button on the bottom left and you'll see the waypoint option to hide them or make them appear. This you'll see when we turn them on that the X's appear in the system. 
Another thing to be conscious of is this uni controller has multiple functions on it. Not only does it have the dial on it this way and the center button to toggle, but it also has an eight position knob just on the face. And you'll see if I press it down, it's adjusting the variable range marker and the electronic bearing line accordingly, depending what I press. In order to give you a definite line, we'll use the outside of that rotary knob to give us an exact uh, mark on the electronic bearing line and then toggle between that and the variable range marker so we can actually see distances to targets.